No, I don't waste no time. That's basically it. It's it's not like can I do this? It's more like I'm doing this, but you need to sign off on it. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Well, yeah, but to be fair, though, like if you got because obviously September's tomorrow, isn't it? So we've got we've got them. Um, that call from last week still in the pipeline. And Jackson. Yeah. Confident with him. He sent me a strike and everything, you know, like to look at. So basically, we're hitting September with a bang there, aren't we? That could that like two or three clients within the first week of September. Oh, we could have, we could have, if we signed them yesterday and we got him in tomorrow, that was 1k increase. Yeah. And Richard on for the other days, 2k, that, you know, that's tired of it. Yeah. That's it. Well, that's going to get a welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George, and I've just finished up the morning check in I've got with the team. Um, so, basically, what we do every single morning at 9 a.m. Uh, Dutch time, which is 8 a.m. UK time. I have a quick check in. This time it was with Elliot, our head of operations, uh, just to go over some of the sales calls that we've got within the coming week. Um, leads that are in the pipeline and also just go over all of the clients ads um, so basically every single morning quick side note I actually run all of the ads for my clients and get the results for the clients it's just the way we've restructured um, the business so rather than getting some b-level contractor I actually run the ads Elliot focuses very much on the front end sales outreach etc um, and then I do the back end I focus on the ads and getting the results and that's the way our agency is uh, structured and um, like I said, you know, we've just been going over all of the ads every single morning. I'll have one deep work block where I'll literally just go through every single ad account, make sure they're all positive, make sure they're all making money for our clients because, you know, that is obviously the whole, you know, aim of the game is to get our clients a return on investment and also a high return on ad spend. So, um, as you can see, I am still in my, uh, basically, you know, jogging outfit if you will um, and the reason for that is basically because I will be getting a workout in later in the day so basically what I try and do every single morning I will get up at quarter to seven only on week weekdays on the weekends that is not the case um, but what I'll do is I'll just basically wear an outfit like this go for a long morning walk listen to a podcast listen to an audiobook and um, this morning was a podcast and then from there I'll get a shower, get changed into something more formal. Despite the fact that I'm working from home, I do like to get dressed, actually wear jeans. Sometimes I'll even wear shoes or sneakers or anything like that, just so I'm out of sloth mode, if you will. You know, I'm not in slippers, I'm not in my jogging bottoms or anything like that, because I notice that I'm less productive if I am, you know, wearing um, clothing like this. But like I said, because today we're actually getting a workout in, I'm still, you know, in sloth mode. And then in a second, I'll probably get changed into my workout clothes and then come back and then get the shower and actually wear something formal. Um, but like I said, you know, um, or as I probably mentioned in the title, this is going to be a day in the life video. Just to basically give you guys a quick catch up on everything that is going on. Haven't done a vlog in a while. It's been a lot of information videos and, you know, basically... Uh, watch me build type of videos so forth you know let's go back to basic back to the vlogs again because um basically a day in the life vlog is still my most viewed video on this channel i think the last time i checked it was like 30,000 views or something like that so uh, that's the reason for me doing this today what else do we have on the agenda i need to record a module for a new info product that i am working on i need to record a youtube video which is obviously this one um get a workout in then i've got one call at 3 p.m uh, with a coaching student so basically I have my own coaching program let me just quickly put the camera down my leg because my arm is getting tired here so I've got my own coaching program where I basically teach you guys on how to start your own agency how to get results for your clients how to build up the agency automate it and scale it so that you can basically live the laptop lifestyle and live life on your own terms as well and um, in the coaching you know it's it's all in group form so every Sunday I will go live I'll basically go through my own ad accounts we'll do Facebook ad troubleshooting where I'll uh, let our students share their screen and then basically I'll go through their ads um, and you know every single week there's a different topic but alongside that you know if you enroll into the coaching um, you can also basically get like one-on-one -on -one, uh, sessions with me you've got the 60 minute deep dive or you've got a I think it's a 15 minute onboarding call um, 
which you can basically purchase alongside the coaching where you can you know go through some specifics if you've got very specific questions um so that is what i've got at 3 p.m then i'm actually going live in uh, ryan wegner's facebook group at 7 p.m uh, ryan wegner is a close friend of mine he is also a digital marketer from the uk to be fair you probably got you guys probably already know who he is he's got a uh, larger youtube channel than mine and a very very big following he's doing very well for himself as well um, so we've got a little deal where I uh, go live in this group every single week. I give a Facebook ads um, lesson, basically answer questions regarding Facebook ads, um, and you know basically try and sh provide more value. You know, share my knowledge, etc., with those that are getting started. And then from there, just a bunch of admin work and email blasts uh, to be sent and and done. And then from there, I'll probably maybe do a Q and A or something like that at the end of this video. But just basically you know bring you guys along with me on my day so uh, that is enough rambling on for now i'm gonna just go over one more ad account and then probably get ready for the gym also fun fact because i don't think a lot of you guys actually know this but i am going to be moving place soon uh move into a new apartment in amsterdam and as you can see my bookshelf is completely empty because all of the books are already packed and uh in you know storage boxes ready to be moved i uh, just got the one book that i'm currently reading uh, still here which is traffic secrets highly recommend you guys check out this book if you haven't already done so um it's just an amazing book on funnels and how to basically um you know run different types of flows for either yourself or for your clients so highly recommend you check out this book if you haven't already done so also obviously i can't show you the name of the ad accounts uh, but this is what my deep work block standard operating procedures um, page looks like so basically every morning i will go through all of these ad accounts and as you can see i've added two more in pen there because uh, we signed two more clients this month so um, i'll probably be creating a new printout uh, for september but um, just having something like this on my desk really does help with productivity and just to make sure that i check all of the ad accounts Okay guys, that was another sort of deep work block done. Now it's time to get a quick workout in before I have those calls later in the day and then that live in Ryan Wegner's Facebook group. What's going on guys, so I'm back from the gym, got myself a protein shake, a cup of tea, uh, which I'll probably spill by showing you guys, and a sort of grilled sandwich with chicken, which is far too flat because I just couldn't figure out how the, the grill iron works. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, just a little hour of deep work. Again, I've got a bit of a backlog, backlog from uh, last weekend of um, basically potential students that want to enroll into the coaching program. Um, so if you want to enroll into the coaching program and you've still got some questions and you know, you're still on the fence whether or not this is a good fit for you and obviously a good fit for us, then um, you can request like a free 15 minute strategy call where you can get some questions answered um, you know, on the call. And you know, prior to the call, we get um, the potential students to fill out a mini questionnaire slash application form about what problems they have you know because obviously the coaching is for those that want to start their own agency or have already started their own agency but you know have hit that glass ceiling can't you know basically get over certain hurdles um you know for those that are completely new and com you know starting out as a complete beginner i always say you know i've got an entire youtube channel full of free content i've got a free beginner course in my Facebook group, you know, there's so much free content out there that can help you get started. And if you notice that, okay, even with the free content, I can't actually, um, you know, get my first client or scale my agency past a certain level, then I'll obviously, you know, um, promote the, the coaching. And on the coaching form, one of the questions is obviously, you know, we ask questions, okay, where are you currently at? Where is it that you want to go? And, you know, how, what is it that you're struggling with to get there, basically? And one of the questions at the end of it is basically, how big of a problem is this to you? And one of the answers, it's a multiple choice, it's a bit of a trick question. One of the answers is obviously, you know, I'm not interested in solving this problem or something along those lines. 
Um, and as soon as we get that, that for me is just a red alert. That just means that that person is either not serious about the coaching or it's just not serious about entrepreneurship in general. I don't really want to work with people like that. I don't want people like that in my coaching program. So that is basically what I'm going to do now. Just sift through all the application forms and just basically um, decline all of those that said that they're not interested in solving their problem because there's no agency for them basically to you know get started uh, you know there's, there's no real motivation either intrinsic or you know extrinsic there's nothing there basically to get that person to um you know basically take action and you know start doing out outreach for their business start reaching out to potential clients start getting clients on calls and so on and so forth so there's no point in me even attempting to help them because there's also people out there that are really motivated and really want to solve that problem and i'd much rather help them um, then you know, just have more coaching students with people that aren't really that interested. So that's what I'm going to do now. And uh, like I said, from there, um, I've put up a Instagram like Ask Me Anything story. So what I'll do is I'll probably just sift through them and uh, answer some questions in more detail on the YouTube channel. Yeah. So one thing I have noticed is if you look at, um, if you look at, for example, the cost per initiate checkout, like that is much higher than your cost per page it should be um, and that is why with this new brand you know your return ad spend is lower if we compare that to you know basically the the other accounts that i'm already running now um also if you go to um so if you look at the columns here um you've got a major drop off from Anticard to initiate checkout. What's going on guys, so I just had a call with one of our current clients who's basically got another business uh, that he wants us to look at. That was run by, uh, so basically this company is based in Sweden. They've got a in-house team in Sweden that focuses mainly on SEO and Google ads. They were running the Facebook ads for this brand um, just alongside it. Um, and then obviously, you know, we had his other business we run the Facebook ads for. He now wants us to take a look at the Facebook ads that his in-house team are currently running and seeing if we can do a better job. If we can, then we've basically got another client from the same owner. Um, so basically the same client, just a different business and an extra retainer for it. Um, so there's a few things that I've noticed in the ad account. I just asked the client if he could quickly share his screen, show me the ad account, um, and I took over here so with zoom you can basically take over the the screen so i basically rearrange the columns so that i can see you know where in their flow it's going wrong i noticed that the cost per initiate checkout is extremely high um and the cost per initiate checkout is actually higher than um the you know then the price of the product is you know for sale on the website so that is one thing that they really need to look at um and there are a few other things that i noticed as well but um i've now got analyst access to that account i'm going to dive into the numbers see if i'm confident that we can do a good job for them if i can then i will um you know basically just pitch them on on the service and get them on board with that second business as well so um i have another meeting right now with another one of our current clients just a quick check up it's literally a five minute call and then from there i'll prepare for uh, the rest of the day hey. yo yo apologies for that man that's I had a five minute update call with one of our clients that turned out to be like a 35 minute call. So, uh, yeah, I was just finishing that up. No, no, no worries, man. Okay, guys, that is all the calls done for now. It is quarter to five. Um, so, I might just quickly get something to eat. Um, just have like my you know dinner for, for the day. Then run down to like the electronic store, price up some TVs, laptop, uh, not laptop, computer screens. Washing machine to be fair, a lot actually, because um, when I'm moving, I'm actually not going to be taking a lot of our stuff um, that I hear. You know, I'm literally going to buy new stuff basically. Um, so I'm also going to be leaving the iMac, um, leaving that here, just getting a computer screen, preferably curved, and just plug my MacBook into that. So um, that is it for now. Then prepare for the group live, you not know, Ryan's um, live call in the group. Finish off some stuff. I'll probably leave out the um, Q&A that I was going to do and just basically make it a vlog maybe use the Q&A for another day but yeah that is it for now quickly get something to eat and then uh, proceed with the rest of the day yo yo what's going on guys so it appears we are live um, let me just wait for a few people to come into the group and then in the meantime I see we've already got two people watching which is great um, feel free to let me know who's watching who's watching the live uh, just just leave a comment. There we go, Josh Wilson. Um, Josh, I think you had a question as well in the 
you left a comment under my post. Yeah, let me just quickly go through some of the questions that you guys had. Um, so yeah, in terms of the personal column preferences, Josh, um, it depends on the client. So obviously with e-commerce, the usual like sort of column order is budget, amount spent, I mean obviously like your reach and impressions and stuff. And then from there, um, unique outbound click-through rate, cost per unique outbound click-through rate, so um, yeah, like I said, but if that bottom of funnel campaign stops performing, I like to check the, the frequency because if the frequency is at like eight, for example, that means that. So guys, I just finished up that live in Ryan's group. Uh, shout out to Ryan for, you know, letting me uh, do that and for basically, you know, our little deal that we've got in terms of the live streams. Um, but yeah, so that is most of the stuff done for today. I do need to still record that module for that info product that I'm creating. Um, more on that later down the line, like it's, it's still basically an idea in our heads so we're not ready to report on that um i hate the like oh big things coming kind of line but it's not even it's not even there yet you know we're not even anywhere close to that um but yeah like i said i'll probably record that video now um send all of this content to my you know basically my editor so you can try and get this video up uh, by today so it's monday at the time I'm recording this i actually want this video out for monday as well because i usually upload on mondays um like i said if not it'll be Tuesday, so I'll record or upload this tomorrow and um, a day after you know recording all of this But anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got some out of it Hope you like the sort of like vlog day in the life type of video again Haven't done one in a while uh, leave a comment down below if I should do this more often I asked you guys the same question about the sales videos and got, got, uh, got um, a lot of good responses So I'll probably be doing more sales videos or sale uh, videos on the sales topic uh, more often as well and uh, like I said, guys, just leave your feedback below. I appreciate it, good or bad. You know, I'm always trying to improve the channel, improve the content, and try and provide as much value as I can to you guys as possible. So, uh, like I said, leave your feedback in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>